Hello, this is Dr. Lorenzo, Longevity Health Institute. Um, coming at you from Rochester Hills, Michigan, um, with hopefully a enlightening and educational um, uh, patient here that, uh, or experience I should say I had with a patient uh, uh, today. I thought this would be really nice because it would share with you some really um, direct, uh, you know, uh, patient information on a clinical level so that you could see what we do here at Longevity Health Institute and at Lorenz Medical Center um, with my nurse practitioners, uh, PAs, and myself. Um, we take a functional approach, we take a very personalized approach um, and looking at root issues and root causes of disease and function and always creating wellness and prevention. Here's uh, the patients uh, right now, one of them, I uh, had a couple new patients today. Um, and it was very interesting because uh, it's, we see all varieties of patients for many things and many ages. Um, this young gentleman actually was uh, 28 years old, sent in from his father who's a physician. Um, he's in medical school himself at Wayne State University and had some typical things due to stress and digestive stuff and that. Um, so his father to encourage him to come in because he's on summer break. Here's what's interesting in this kind of case. Um, Obviously, we evaluated him, sat down for 45 minutes to an hour and went over some basics of his overall past medical history and that and what he's doing. But he's ba basically had about six, eight years of long-standing digestive stuff with nausea and on and off gastric pain and on and off diarrhea bouts and things like this. Um, also has very uh, um, episodic events of like eczema, um, dry and inflamed skin called seborrhea der uh, dermatitis um, in his scalp. Um, and then also recently developed um, a uh, tinnitus or tinnitus, which is a ringing, low-level ringing in the inner ear and seen in an ENT and evaluated um, and told it was, it was fine and just some, some basic hearing damage. So this um, uh, patient, as you can imagine, at 28 years old, um, you know, is suffering uh, with digestive issues mostly. And one of our four, uh, excuse me, our six steps <laughs> that we take in our functional approach and in our matrix of systems that we kind of uh, need through and pick through um, is digestive health, diet, and how somebody um, can really uh, optimize their health and wellness if we get down to the root causes of the functionality of, of gut and diet. Um, and long story short with him is, we did uh, some labs today. Um, we did a live blood analysis, and on the live blood analysis, it did show some things that were uh, likely um, suggesting of, in a visual way, on the, on the microscope, um, uh, that he has some food sensitivities and food allergies. Um, I do believe he's going to develop, uh, or show, I'm sorry, uh, his results that he's going to have some food allergies and food sensitivities, um, and we're going to eliminate some foods from his diet and restore his gut flora with probiotics, um, uh, amino acids, um, and some non-inflammatory and potentially enzymes that help him digest and break food down. The other thing that's interesting is, which is classic in somebody that has stress, um, and obviously a medical student um, experiencing myself, I can tell you, is a great rewarding experience and probably some of the best times in my life, but it is very stressful. Um, a lot of demands, a lot of late nights and that. So he very likely is getting an adrenal cortical, uh, cortisol response and also even probably creating some hypersecretion of, of hydrochloric acid in his stomach, which if you have a wound in the gut um, and you have this what we call dysbiosis or the digestive lining is, is sensitive and broken down a bit, um, that acid is, is going to aggravate him. So again, you know, it, we, what we did is knead through some of his issues and obviously um, uh, screen him uh, for some other things. But it sounds like with him, he's got uh, simply a functional digestive problem and a problem with his adrenals and stress. Um, I am evaluating him also um, in a blood and urine test for some neurologic neurotransmitters that potentially could also lead to um, spastic bowel and uh, spasms of the gut and that because he does have a family history, a bit of anxiety and some um, mood issues and, and that in the family. He himself doesn't, but obviously he's very stressed and stress creates anxiety. So with him, hopefully he will, he'll do very well. I think like most, he'll be very successful and be productive in medical school and uh, hopefully go on and move to touch and be uh, have a rewarding uh, career and touch many lives and create some health and wellness. Um, but uh, I thought I'd share that with you. 
that a patient with gut issues, digestive issues, often can create inflammatory skin reactions, um, often create um, even issues related to anxiety and mood, and the stress and adrenal responses from anxiety and mood can create digestive issues. So almost like a vicious cycle. Um, I will likely report back to you about how he's doing. Um, I think he's starting school back up here soon within the next month. Um, uh, and so we'll, we'll let you know how he does. But a typical, typical patient here at Longevity Health Institute, even though he's young, because I treat all ages, um, and most of our patients are, you know, average about 40 to 55 years old. Um, but uh, I think he'll do very well. Again, this is Dr. Lorenz, Longevity Health Institute, from a functional medical perspective. Hope you're well.